Hi guys. This is a video about um, the Galvanic Skin Response uh, uh, project I've made. Um, if you haven't seen the story yet, uh, I'll post uh, the link to my blog um, right on the video. Um, this is basically um, um, a system that uh, detects uh, whether or not um, you're under stress and um, gives up a reading on on the computer. So if I open up this case, this is a really nice project case. I really like this one. Um, all right. So right here, it's a bit messy, but it works. Um, I have um, uh, an Arduino Uno uh, that runs a, a sketch um, and uh, basically an op-amp that's um, getting um, some some voltage um, from from the Arduino. Uh, it's basically connected to. Let me see. Right now it it's on five volt. So um, what it does? Let me find the um, electrode. All right. So these plugs uh, go go to here, all right, and you can set them up on your fingers, like so, all right. And basically what it does, it runs a, a 5 volt um, signal through your fingers and measures um, the resistivity. It's it runs um, just like a, a Western bridge, um, and uh, the difference in, in uh, resistivity um, then goes to the computer and gets uh, gets plotted. All right, so let's see how it works. All right, so basically the display um, program is made in processing um, based on uh, the GSR reader from uh, Chi Wei Wang that's uh, on cwwang.com um, and I also need to mention that the circuit was built based on the idea of um, uh, Sheen Montgomery from uh, produceconsumerobot.com um, so I'm gonna start this program up, I'm gonna run the sketch all right, and as we can see, um, there's a peak detection. All right, because it's it's not connected yet to my fingers, so I'm gonna connect the the electrodes to my fingers, like so. And here we go. We have a reading. I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's visible on camera or not. All right. It, it's it's visible, I guess. I wish. They actually um. So I'm gonna take a big uh, inhale. And as you can see, uh, the resistance of the skin decreases. So basically what you see here uh, plotted is the skin uh, resistance. Um, as the skin dries up the resistance uh, increases and as you you get sweatier the resistance will decrease. Um, the theory uh, goes that um, whenever you're under stress um, then uh, more um, Uh, more sweat your your uh, different uh, sweat glands uh, particularly on on your hands um, will produce all right so here we have the basic setup we have a couple of LEDs um, showing up that uh, uh, the program's up and running. Um, 
I was thinking of maybe making these uh, LEDs um, showing different uh, uh, resistance uh, uh, levels, but uh, the applications is not yet completed. So um, on the cover of of the the project box, I've also set up a a toggle. Um, haven't found yet a, a good application for it, but maybe in the future. Um, if you have any ideas on this project, or um, if you'd like to. Um, to try and, and build it, I can can maybe give you some advice. Um, this is basically a, a 3.5 audio jack that I've um, I've set up here, and um, all right, uh, the electrodes are basically uh, Velcro with uh, aluminum and um, two washers. Are connected to uh, some wires that I've uh, I've set up in heat shrink, um, and this is a again a 3.5 uh, audio jack. All right, um, I need to tell you that um, whenever I run this particular um, uh, program, where I connect the project to to the laptop, I don't have the laptop connected to mains, so uh, we avoid uh, any hazards, any potential hazards, I should say. Alright, that's about it. Hope you liked it. Bye.